go check it out. All right, Katie. <laughs> I don't know about your awesome thing of the week here. <laughs> Explain what happened. <laughs> well, um, I, I got a long with our house got to participate in uh, unstuff a bus, which is essentially we, we unstuff the buses that were stuffed. Uh, I think it was 52 this year, this year, uh, which is awesome. But the guys uh, did such a great job. Uh, so many great, yeah, so many great gifts for kids. Well, what had happened is we unloaded at a storage facility and I was in one of the elevators helping with the unload and I loaded a couple boxes in and hit the button and nothing. So I, was in the elevator. I'm like, Hey guys, I'm stuck in the elevator. <laughs> I actually hit the little phone button on the elevator, which I was like, am I supposed to hit this button? And the lady's like, Oh yeah, this is the right button to hit it. I was like, okay. And they kept saying, it'll be a few more minutes, a few more minutes. No big deal. They'll come get you. And about a half an hour into being stuck in an elevator by myself with some toys, I um, decided, well, Scott pushed me into periscoping. it. <laughs> so I periscoped <laughs> from an elevator for an hour um, my adventures of being stuck by myself in an elevator. And the best part was they were watching me outside the elevator. Um, it, the picture I sent Sorg is a picture of me that they made me stand in a certain place in the elevator so they could take a picture of the group and I would still be in it. I'm in the elevator behind them, but I'm also appearing in Scott's phone. So if you, <laughs> which I sorry, honestly, sorry, is, I'm having trouble was, with the image here, but here it is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It's so funny, but it was it made such a difference that I had people to talk to on Periscope while I was stuck in an elevator because I think I would have been a lot more nervous mm -hmm. and I would have thought more about having to use the restroom because I was like, I'm stuck in an elevator. I haven't peed in a while. What's going to happen? <laughs> and um, and it was fun because it was like the interactions I was getting. I, I had 300 and some. At one point, I had 70 people watching me at one time. And by the end of it, it was like 300 and some plus that had watched my adventure in the elevator. And they were all being very nice. And, <laughs> and at one point, I, you know, at the beginning of the conversation, I, I said, don't say the P word. And someone else would bring it up in, in the chat. And they would, someone else would tell them, oh, don't say the P word. <laughs> I was like, see, they know, they caught on. And I think the best part about this is I had set out the photo that I was stuck in an elevator and to uh, my boyfriend and my mom and he did not believe that I was stuck in the elevator until he saw the video posted on Facebook, the Periscope video. <laughs> He's like, Oh, you weren't kidding. I thought you were kidding. <laughs> I said, I sent him the picture and he said, Oh, I can think of worse ways to die. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm legit stuck in an elevator. You don't understand. So yes, uh, Periscope is a great place to hang out when you are stuck in an elevator. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I actually got I actually caught up with Sean at RWA Saturday night about that. Oh uh, yeah. Too. So I got I got the outside the elevator version of the story. Uh Amazing. so yeah, it was good. It was good. Um that's <laughs> And I was the same way cuz I saw it pop up. I'm like, "Oh, she just stuck with a pack of toys in there." And for whatever reason, like the periscope wouldn't load it when I was at the coffee shop uh, cuz I was doing like too many things to begin with. And, and and I had the same reaction. I'm like, oh, whatever. Then it's like, not till like two hours later. I'm like, oh god, she was actually stuck. <laughs> I'm glad to say I wasn't the only one, but 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 yeah. Nope, nobody believed me. I was really stuck by myself in an elevator, picking one of the boxes as my pee box in case it came down to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? You're you're the kind of person that periscopes like so many different things. I'm like, oh, how quaint. She's she's in an elevator, a periscope. But like, oh, wait, she's still on the wait, she's still on the elevator. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah. What, wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yep. So you, anything happens on my periscope. There you go. Was was there a particular toy that you would have that you would have peed on? Did you may actually make that selection? Yeah, well, the nice thing is is the boxes for um, stuff a bus. The the ones they had places that the, where you could drop off the toys were about waist high. So oh, I figured perfect. if I emptied them out, I could just duck in there. Nobody on the camera in the elevator would see me. Right. But I was with the toys. I was very upset. So many required batteries <laughs> that I wanted to play with. And there was a set of colored pencils, but none of them were sharpened. <laughs> <laughs> it was like my own special hell. It's like a nightmare. It's, yeah. like, it's, like, it's like a Christmas nightmare. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> So there you yeah, go. Te awesome. Technology helping you cope, apparently, yes. uh, in this case. <laughs> so um, there you go. Uncle Crappy, what do you have for us this week? Nothing nearly that interesting, unfortunately. 
that uh, I, I can't I can't claim to being stuck in it. I, I I did not I was not aware I missed that whole thing. Um, and actually, I came home from work that day, and Mrs. Crappy is like, "Did you see what happened to Dutters?" And I it's like so she had to go back and explain because she got to see all this. Stuff. <laughs> um, uh, my awesome thing, uh, the, the timing for this is, uh, is, is actually works out pretty well because we just launched uh, uh, at, at my employer, which is the, the green newspaper in town, launched a new page for our um, our photo galleries. It's a, it's a, it's a, a, a product of a lot of work. Um, I'm especially happy with how it looks on mobile because this is a thing that I, I tinker with a lot professionally now. Um, but it's called a Pittsburgh in focus. Uh, you can find it at post gazette.com slash photos. Um, it's something that we're going to, uh, the, the, the photographers and the other visual people, I guess that includes me to a certain extent. Um, we'll spend a fair amount of time tinkering with, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to give you guys a different look at, 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 uh, at some of the work that they do. Wow. Some of the work that I do as well. So, um, please uh, go, go check that out. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, and, uh, and, there, and we have a big thing about Pascal, Pascal mm-hmm. Dupuis retiring all of a sudden today. That was today's big deal. So not as exciting as getting stuck in an elevator. So I got to say, so I'm, I'm taking a peek through this. This is the first time I'm looking at it. And I know hmm? a lot of the discussion, I, I, I don't know if you're, you, you have to be part of this too, but, you know, with the ad block looks and what, like, especially newspapers are being called out for how mm-hmm. um, dire they look. I guess, mm. um, <laughs> for instance, um, not do any slams on anybody, uh, particularly local or anything about in particular, but, um, right. but this is a very nice, clean, uh, the HTML 5e. I, I, I gotta be honest. I do have my ad blocker on, so I, I don't know if there are a lot of any kind of pop-ups that might be on here. So I'll actually disable it to be an honest uh, viewer here. Uh, but, but no, it looks very nice. Uh, and, and probably, you know, and it, even the ads aren't aren't, aren't all that bad um, when they do pop up, which is nice. <laughs> and I imagine this looks like it's a, a responsive sort of design. It's going to look. That, what's that? that? That is that is a nice part of the page, and that was uh, that was one of the goals to make this fairly clean. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we've uh, we've engaged a lot of time, uh, in, in a lot of time discussing about load times. Uh, so that was something that we wanted to take care of this as oh, well, yeah. especially, you know, a, a photo heavy pages. Uh, that's that's a, that can be a real concern. But um, and please, with with how this one turned out. So uh, so y'all go check it out. That's good. I mean, and that's a big thing. I mean, it, it, you know, in a, in a day when newspapers need to you know catch up digitally and get some attention these days, you're competing with the bigger guys that are doing clean designs. You know, I just saw Engadget yeah. just redesigned. And again, I keep forgetting I have an ad blocker on. Um, and, uh, and and I'm just like, there's so much white space over here. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? What, what are they doing with all this white space? It doesn't make any sense. This is horrible design. Then I realized, oh, that's where the ads go. Oh, okay. Um, and for me, it's like, you know, it's security and such. Like, you know, and, and we've all had that. I, I was getting annoyed. Uproxx is kind of off my Christmas card list as far as mobile goes. Uh, because mm-hmm. it pops up that thing after you've been watching, you know, reading for a moment, and and oh, I end up yes. going somewhere else, and and yes. and there are especially smaller market newspapers that are just horrendous with those kinds of ads, and mm-hmm. uh, think I don't think I don't think Post Gazette or others in town have been plagued by that in particular, if I recall. Like they weren't pretty, but they weren't that bad. Uh, the, especially the, the, the mobile stuff has been, uh, uh, an emphasis, uh, uh, for my employer uh, recently. And, and that's, that's right. one of the things that I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be to, to working on every day. So, uh, I'm, I'm happy that they took the time with this site, uh, to, to make that work. Uh, generally we did, that, that is something we emphasize when we do a larger package, um, that, you know, we want to make sure that it, that it looks good in that format too. So it's good stuff. What's, what was the site? I didn't get the URL. Uh, post hyphen gazette.com slash photos. Um, post gazette without the hyphen, uh, also works as well. Uh, that, cause I, I've been doing that by default, honestly. And, uh, and it goes right through. <sighs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm messing with your brand, man. <laughs> <laughs> that hyphen. I, I tell you what, um, the hyphen, the hyphen is, is everything, right? But, yep. <laughs> That's in the manual. Um, awesome. Go check out. Yeah, no, this looks really good. I, 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 I'm going to have to. Oh, and you. Uh, I imagine a lot of this goes over to the Instagram as well. It's linked up here. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Nice to see that uh, popping up. Uh, so definitely going to uh, follow that stuff around. 
All right. I was trying to remember who's next, and I realized that's me. Um, so did you get stuck in any elevators? I did week? not get stuck in an elevator. I got stuck at a wrestling <laughs> show this weekend. Um, I, I don't want to get too far into it, because I actually did about 17 minutes on this concept uh, for basic Sorgonomics today. So go over to Sorgatron.com. Um, so if you watch my wrestling products, you know that we haven't been HD yet. Okay. Uh, partly because I got this old do 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 if I can find the button I got this old thing uh, this old switcher a nice thing that I think a lot of churches use uh, it's SD and and you see I, I kind of had another camera that I was using as an intake to turn it into firewire so I can capture it digitally so I have a backup right um, this is what we've been doing since about 2012 when I took over uh, this part of the biz is there is somebody is somebody got a cricket going? What's happening here? Oh dang it! Sorry, the cat. Oh. <laughs> I'm at home. I'm like, Jeff got are the you cat telling me I'm? And I forgot the cricket. Are you telling me I'm boring over here? What's happening? <laughs> Sorry. So I let Katie have the soundboard again. Uh, <laughs> but I updated it with um, a few of these things. Uh, these are the Black Magic Shuttle, and you see it's got all the outputs. That's why I kind of picked these guys. Uh, this is the USB 3 edition, but I also have a Thunderbolt edition as well. Have those going in the computer. And using Wirecast, just like uh, what I have here, which I think I put in our tab. No, there it is. And there it is. That That's it. Um, got another soundboard uh, So since it replaced a lot of what the hardware was doing. Uh, but I, I, you know, I usually was that somebody else's contact. We're just going to as a business card. Okay. Um, but... Uh, you know, we, we kind of were able to replace a lot of that big hardware with this. And now I have, like, all this table space, and I don't know what to do. Mostly went okay. A couple uh, technical glitches uh, that we need to work out and smooth over. But I think for a maiden voyage, we did very well. We are HD, 720. I didn't push the envelope too far on, on the first run out. And uh, I think it's pretty good. So these things, if, if you're looking for these, uh, uh, um, these are also recommended for... Uh, if you're doing Let's Plays with like Xboxes and Playstations as well, like there's a lot of tutorials on that. Uh, I will caution you, um, these are very, when you use Blackmagic hardware, um, they're very stringent and picky. Like you have to know what the resolution and frame rate is that whatever you're using is outputting to it. You know, HD, 720, 1080i versus P, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. And you have to set that accordingly. Uh, it's a lot easier than it was a year ago when I was experimenting with this stuff. I've actually, this thing I've had for over a year, almost two years maybe. And uh, and, and I just haven't had much success for, for my needs a, a, until now where everything kind of lined up, right? Um, so uh, Blackmagic and Wirecast. And also cool to use Wirecast in a different environment than podcasting. Uh, we've used it actually before in uh, some live streaming, uh, mostly just to get us to YouTube Live. Um, but it, it's kind of nice to, you know, take it out of the studio here and, uh, use it in a bigger format. So, uh, Wirecast, again, these are a little, little more, it's about four or $500 program. Uh, more details over at Sorgatron.com and check out the video on basic Sorgonomics about that. And I'm sure I'll have some more to talk about as we go and we experiment, we start growing with, uh, with the setup and, uh, perfecting it for everything. So that's what I got. All right. So, uh, with that, uh, and your slice on Broadway ad of the week, because chilla has got the slice this week. I do have the slice this week. If you look here, I, and I actually, I apologize, I got hungry during the show, so I started eating the Slaughterhouse Five. Um, so we have the Slaughterhouse Five, which is your pepperoni, your bacon, your sausage, your capricole, and your prosciutto. Um, definitely a great pie, followed up by my other favorite, the chicken pesto pie, which is a basil, basil pesto sauce with uh, uh, small spinach um, or baby spinach, chicken, and uh, roasted red tomatoes. So definitely, definitely a tasty, tasty meal. I highly recommend that. I think Sorg, one of your favorites is the gonzo. Mm -hmm. um, and keep in mind that they can take any pizza and make it a sub and any sub and make it a pizza. That's right. That's right. We had some here. Uh, we were doing a Sawtooth Willie filming here on uh, Friday night. Got some got some pizza. We had an audience for Sawtooth Willie. The audience for filming Sawtooth Willie is growing. <laughs> like I have more people in studio when we're filming that than we do for any of the podcasts at this point. Um, <laughs> cricket. <laughs> No, I get, I'm just wait. This is what you're dealing with. This is this is all it is. <laughs> I know what that is. Oh, I just threw it away. 
<laughs> but anyways, uh, so Slice Hot Broadway's been uh, supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for uh, all over, over a year and a half here. Thank you so much for uh, helping them feeding the in-studio guests here. Check them out, sliceonbroadway.com, pgh underscore slice on the Twitters, and look them up on Facebook and Instagram, and let them know you heard about them on Awesome Cast. Thanks a lot. Uh, Sawtooth Willie approved, by the way. Uh, so thanks to them. All right. How does, he chew, how does he chew pizza? How does that work? Uh, it is a gumming action. I mean, he's only missing one tooth. I mean, he has the rest of it. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. And he, yes, does, and he does something very interesting with that gap this next set of episodes, by the <laughs> way. So, so keep an eye out for that and Merry Christmas. Um, yes. Yes. Um, so, uh, we had some stuff from our audience. Uh, Katie, you, you, you and I both got this email today. I, I didn't get to uh, sink too far into this, but it's uh, yourprimer.com. You can find out about this. And uh, it's, uh, I got to download. I didn't get too far from that. But Doug, Dougie Doug, Doug Durda of it should I uh, drink that.com. I can't wait for him to hear that. Um, he was letting us know this is a free service that Google has rolled out. Uh, for five-minute sessions to help digital advertising content measurement and strategy. Uh, he took the first lesson on creating creative beefs while doing something quick and uh, finished. Okay, I'm not reading that part. Uh, perfect reading because we all know you ha- have it in there with you. It, it's, uh, it says it's a nice thing, and uh, you can uh, pin cards to go back and revisit, plus there are uh, key takeaways uh, from each lesson. Uh, so again, Google kind of, and I'll see if I can boot it up here to show off a little bit. Uh, Google kind of, you know, again, kind of expanding that education uh, kind of aspect here. Uh, Katie, did you have an opportunity to take a peek at this? No, I didn't. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Um, but no, <laughs> a, but kind of a pretty cool kind of mini lessons kind of uh, situation here. Uh, and I'm kind of digging on that. Uh, it is available for iOS and uh, Android. Uh, it's uh, Google Primer. And uh, you can uh, you know, get it now for free. So uh, I, I, I know some people that have expressed interest in, in kind of getting into marketing and advertising uh, and I actually forwarded this to them. Uh, it, this could be a nice little, you know, thing to kind of, you know, get wrap, start wrapping your head around a few things. So um, go check it out. Uh, yourprimer.com if you want inf- more information on that. So thanks, Doug, at Doug Dirt on Twitters uh, for that. Uh, he, and he was also popped us uh, an uh uh, comment uh, earlier in the week. Uh, so uh, uh, Facebook just punched Meerkat and Periscope in the gut. Uh, so apparently they opened up their Facebook uh, video, video streaming. Uh, we, we talked about this before. This was this this was the thing that like celebrities had it, right? Like like Ricky Gervais had it. Uh, some WWE uh, wrestlers had it. But apparently um, they are opening this up to the general public, which, and, and it's part of I think it, well, it is an, it is an app separate from uh, Facebook, but it integrates pretty nicely with it. And I know I was looking at a few things. You can actually subscribe to get notifications. You know, pretty much like Periscope, whenever somebody goes on. So you know, when Katie's stuck in an elevator and she wants to be on Facebook, I'll know about it. Pay attention um, to me. <laughs> exactly. Um, but they're uh, they're they're beginning to test it. Uh, this was uh, let's see, this was back on the third, so last Thursday actually. And um, they're starting to kind of uh, uh, roll it out, I think, slowly uh, to begin with. Um, so I, I think, yeah, this is going to eat the lunch of per- mir- as long as like it's easy enough. Uh, I, 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 I cannot imagine Periscope and Meerkat holding up to this. I mean, Meerkat's barely holding its own against Periscope backed mm-hmm. by Twitter, right? Um, and they have they're doing a celebrity thing just like apparently apparently I'm supposed to take my shirt off whenever I'm on this, according to this video. Um. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I'm sold on this one. Uh, so uh, apparently only attractive people are, are allowed on this one that work out a lot. Um. But anyways, uh, go live with friends. It says. I don't know that. that it could. It could work, but I, I don't know. Facebook did Facebook Skype calling really take off? No. 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 But. <laughs> does Does Facebook? <laughs> I, I, I wonder about this because I think that the the, the, the Twitter has an immediacy that, that Facebook maybe does not mm-hmm. um, and and so I, 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 I could be completely in the minority about this but I, I think a, a streaming service on on that, that works well, that integrates well with Twitter um, maybe maybe that's a better fit than than, than something uh, that, that Facebook does I, I, I that's that, that's how I feel I mean I, I, I 
I, I use Periscope uh, in the course of work. I use and those are broadcast live on Twitter, and I and I generally upload those to Facebook after the fact. Mm -hmm. But um, but I, but I think the impact of of uh, you know Periscoping stuff live, uh, whether you're stuck on an elevator or not, works works best works best on works works best in a platform like Twitter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Katie, you're uh, the you're the biggest Periscoper here, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What, what, <laughs> What do you think about get another player in that in that uh, space? I think well, one with Periscope, like even when I try to pull up my video from the elevator, it's gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, that's so I think the availability of maybe if Facebook is able to store these videos long term without you having to upload it afterwards might be an advantage. But um, like uh, Crappy says, it's Twitter is my immediate. Facebook is me catching up with what people did overnight or in the morning or you know when I get a few minutes. But I'm not constantly on Facebook like I'm constantly on Twitter. Right. So I would not get the. I mean, the notifications would be nice, but we already get so many notifications for things. Yeah. That's what needs an our so, ping, right? Yeah, I know. I just I don't. I, I, Facebook usually pulls something out that I go, oh wait a minute, that's awesome. So I'm waiting for that. That I just that must thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. It, it, it'll be see, interesting to see how this shakes out. It, it, you know, yet another feature. Um, and and I don't think, and I don't think it's as distinguishable as when they put out like a, a you know they're calling it what are they call it Facebook Live, right? Yeah, it should be some live video collection. They don't even have a name for it really um, at this point. So um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it grows. So uh, thanks, Doug, for uh, passing that along as well. Uh, we had another one. I'm going to bump this up here in the lineup. Uh, so Lightroom, uh, Lightroom's kind of the big photo editing app, uh, that, that you guys can pick up part of the, actually, uh, actually I have, I own a, a copy of Lightroom, but I've never used it because uh, I paid the $10 for the pho photography, uh, bundle on, on Adobe, Adobe's creative cloud. So you get Photoshop and, um, Photoshop and, uh, uh, uh Lightroom in there. Uh, there's now a mobile version of it uh, for iOS and Android. You can go check that out. And, uh, and so I, I hit up uh, some of our friends that I knew were big photography buffs. And Chilla, I know you, you're you kind of in this. Now, you, you haven't used Lightroom a lot, right? You said I have not used Lightroom a lot. The only because I didn't need something on my mobile device and it wasn't free mm -hmm. on, my, on my desktop. So that's the reason I, I haven't chosen really any kind of organizational thing mm -hmm. and then the thing that really sealed the deal was um google photos being free right. but anyway go go with your right and it's a kind of a strimmed down version so so i reached out to dan who excuse me uh, daniel hooven on the twitter and rob uh de la creta you know, the original co-host over here on awesome cast and i know they're like big in the photos both professionally and hobby etc uh great stuff with the ins team rob uh but anyway <laughs> great photo that popped up the other day actually um but uh you know as the professionals you know saying it's useless for editing you're not going to have the full suite of uh functionality on those platforms but it's good for showing off and and, and organizing a little bit um you know no color cl collaboration or profiles you know it's not going to be that big of a thing and that's the thing is we're seeing a lot of kind of stripped down stuff uh there was an article last week talking about how uh premiere's clip application is on um uh mobile uh, mobile now on android it's been on ios for a little bit i mean these are they're taking little bits of adobe suite and kind of dropping it onto mobile platforms uh, which is nice to kind of start a job and then you upload it in the cloud. It's, it, the cloud is persistent and then move it to, to something, something else. Um, I, yeah. I, I think that's the whole point. Of a lot of these mobile tools is they take, they take the big tool and they snip it or they clip it down in, or, or create a bunch of sub tools that allow you to kind of use your workflow in the way that makes sense to you. Um, and then to your point, kind of push it up into a cloud and then you can kind of, finish with the full suite on a desktop mm -hmm. I, I just think we're still a little little further than a lot of companies would like to be from that full on suite on a mobile device especially when you get into to a, a five inch screen you just don't have the real estate that you do on a on a 20 inch 25 inch whatever 4k monitor um to start really getting down and dirty with your video editing. I mean, Sorg, you, you, you know how it is with video. It's not that far off from photos where would you want to do all of your 
your work on a on a small screen? No, I couldn't imagine doing it. I was actually um, kind of uh, as a point. I, I after my lunch meeting today, I I just I just brought my iPad 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 uh, iPad with iPad. me, and with the uh, you know with the new Zag keyboard, I was like, well, I'm getting a lot done on this thing whenever I pull it up. And, and I just did emails and 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 uh, uh, connections, just kind of you know touching base with a lot of people, writing up some stuff uh, for a good hour at the coffee shop before coming home. And, um, but also I was realizing how limited it is. Like st- we're still at that point, like, like, like setting up the document in Google docs. I couldn't figure out in the app how to duplicate a file. So I could u- bring the show notes over and start working on them. I had to actually log in remotely to the studio computer here and do it in a browser. Right. So we're still limited mm-hmm. at those points. But I think when you go to, um, um, the iPad Pro and that size, I think you get closer to the point where well, we can do a little bit more. You know, right. um, you know, I, I think for for illustrators, I think it's a big boon for them. You know, I think it's a there is a point where for certain professionals or hobbyists, they can start on an iPad and do most of the thing they need to on an iPad, and then sh- you know, flip it off to the next person that needs to take that to the next level. You know. I think what your your the advantages for something like this are for people who are in business who don't want to go to that level. Like for example, like if I want to post, um, if I want to, if I'm taking something, a photo of myself that I'm advertising some bit of clothing, like I just want to clean it up um, in a way that maybe Instagram can't do it, mm-hmm. or um, the photo editing software that comes with your phone can't do it. Um, there's so many nice tweaks in Lightroom that you can do that kind of quickly without even knowing very much about Lightroom. You know what I mean? Without knowing how photos, exactly photo editing works and, and get them kind of wham bam quickly out there. So things where you might be uh, wanting to post things up business wise, that you just want those extra settings that you want out there as opposed to somebody not passing it on to the next level, but that's all the highest, you know, it's, it's an additional, that's the highest level it'll go. They also can be a really good introductory to Lightroom. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, Lightroom's that, that important thing that I all my photo friends that I don't understand at that level what that's about. Right. And uh, and and oh, great. You tried it out. Oh, you really need to pay for Creative Cloud now. Right. Mm-hmm. And now, oh, I'm going to. Well, now I'm paying for Creative Cloud, whether I use the full on Lightroom or not at this point. Yeah. I, you know, and, and also, like I said, it's a more advanced thing to make your Instagrams look good. Yeah. So like the next I mean, that. plus, I mean, I could put that on my resume. I use Lightroom. <laughs> Mobile. There you go. Mobile. Done. Mobile. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. I'm a photographer. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it is a, a stuff, stuff like this is it is helpful for um, uh, word people in the journalism world uh, who are suddenly being asked to to take photographs or, or to uh, to uh, if we expand this a little bit to to, to prepare short video clips. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We I, I don't include myself with this because I, I tinker with visual stuff a lot, but but. But those folks, you know, they, they want something kind of quick and kind of mm-hmm. easy. Um, you can do you can do some of that stuff with the with the uh, native uh, software that we're talking about, iOS or Android. Uh, but but if you need to do a little bit more, um, it's, it's helpful. It's helpful. Um, I, I understand, you know, why why uh, someone who shoots at the level that Rob does would be dismissive. I I probably would be too. Uh, but but in that in that context, um, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's not a bad thing. Exactly. I, I, even even when you're looking at the the mobile site over here, they're like you know uh, 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 you know create a collection, uh, add your photos, capture a photo, edit the photo, share the photo, and then you install Lightroom CC on your computer so you can so you can refine your photos. Yes. Uh, so yes. it's an introductory thing, like, like I said, or, or or it's a little bit of you know, well, why the heck would I want Office on my on my iPhone? Uh, because you're familiar with it. If you're very mm-hmm. ingrained in Adobe. And you can bring at least a little piece of that application you're familiar with, be a Premiere, Photoshop, Lightroom. I, I I think that helps that as well, and 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 and, and gets you again keeps you in that ecosystem, and you continue I think give give Microsoft Adobe money like that. I think it's real good for that. And, and I think uh, you know you talked about kind of the different levels of people, and there are you know I, I guess I kind of do things a hard hard way because I didn't have all these easy fun tools. Uh, you know, uh, several years ago when I started this thing, right? But so many are getting so much done with these in creative ways and working around those uh, uh, limitations, like we're seeing with Vine, Snapchats, uh, Instagrams, right? Um, so, and, and, and you know, uh, how many movies you see that ah, shot on an iPhone? But yeah, but they had a little bit of hardware, you know, but it, a lot of capabilities. And I think it just lowers that barrier. And it's really awesome. So, speaking of creative endeavors. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, we're doing a lot of fun stuff over here, Sidekick Media Services. We're uh, uh, doing a lot of uh, marketing videos here uh, with a lot of people. Uh, talking with some really cool people and some, some uh, fun new projects going to be uh, coming up here in the coming months. Uh, but if you want to see what's going on, go over to SidekickMediaServices.com. We can help you with your podcast, with your uh, with your marketing video, and social media help as well. Uh, we can throw together a website for you, whatever you need there in the digital realm. Uh, and, uh, and we have a lot of samples over there. You can check out the demo reel, what we've been doing here at Sorgatron Media over the years, and we're trying to make those available uh, to anybody that needs them. Uh, so please uh, uh, hit that up. Follow us on social media. Hit up the contact page if you have any questions on, uh, on something we can help you with. Um, and, uh, and, 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 and see if you can name all the Steelers in our video. Uh, no, I can't. Um, no, you can't? No, you know? no. I couldn't name any of the Cleveland Browns if they didn't show up in your video either. So oh, like, you're, you're, you're an outsider. One? You're an outsider. Listen, listen. I think we I'm, got... start, I'm starting a quarterback for the Browns this weekend, by the way. Oh. I, you know what? I think we got, we got like the best mix for a demo video we have pittsburgh steelers we have the now mayor when he was running for it uh we have zombies uh <laughs> we have yeah, you got everybody covered That's we perfect. have tv personalities we got we got everything in there we, we've got chachi floating over the point in a parachute <laughs> parasailing out there i mean we got everything we've been everywhere over the last how many years we've been doing it i even make a cameo in this as a as a protester uh, so go check that out. Yeah, we 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 we've been doing things for a bit. Um, SidekickMediaServices.com. dot com, and uh, we do a lot of podcasts. You can check out this quick clip of last week in Sorgatron Media. <laughs> 